Sometimes you need the text to wrap around an illustration or object just perfectly, and sometimes it can be pretty difficult to do in other programs, but in Kittle, it is super easy, and it'll just take a second. So let's learn how to wrap text around illustrations and objects right now. All right, I have an illustration here, so let's hit T and add some text, and we are going to wrap this text around this rainbow to make it look like it's following along. So I'm gonna go with the text dreamer. Maybe we're making like a shirt design or a sticker or something. So I'm gonna use this sunshade font. And then what I'm gonna do is hit distort. And then when I hit distort, these little nodes come up, these little anchor points come up that I can stretch. So now you see I'm stretching this down. By the way, you can hold shift if you want it to stay straight. And then what I can do is I can go over and grab the other one and make it look like it's following along this path. Now you see we have this weird slant thing going on. No problem, let's just grab the middle one, which is the positional point here, which will we can move the center point. And then I can just grab the handle and keep expanding it around to get it exactly how I want. And you could play with this for a while, but hopefully you see how easy it is to wrap this text around something like a rainbow or something else. Now, let's use this other example where we wanna fill this space. We wanna fill this kind of triangular space here in between the butterfly and we could use the same distort method but as you can see here when i pull this down we're either going to have too much overlap or not enough so i can shorten this here i can shorten the space of the severity of the angle here to kind of give it this cool perspective but then it still makes this weird gap and we want it to be more flowy i don't really want it to be super sharp like that so what I suggest doing and what you can do for a variety of different things is make a duplicate and we're going to use one as a template. So let's drop this down to 20% just for us to see what we're doing. And then I'm going to copy and paste that same text. So now I've got the other one on front and I'm going to split this word in half. So I'm going to have S-U-M and then M-E-R and I'm going to apply the distort transformation to both of them so I can work with them more equally. Now this hack kind of works best with a symmetric word that's, you know, three and three on either side. So six letters or eight letters or what have you. But now you can see that when I, when I move up and I can put these nodes down so I can start stretching them, I have a lot more control just using one side of the word basically. And I'm just going to fast forward through this part here of you seeing how you can move this around, duplicate it, put the other side of the word, and then still make it more flowy just like that and you can get a much better result by duplicating the word or putting it splitting it in half just like that now if you want to see other tutorials using kittle i have these videos here on my right that i know you're going to enjoy don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video